Hi guys, I'm Asif Ali and you're watching this job video. Today I will make this very simple portal gate effect. This is just a material tutorial. It will be very simple and quick to make it. So let's dive in. So I have this gate, simple gate, and this tutorial will be very simple and quick. So I will just show you quickly how to make a simple portal gate. So for this, uh, this is a material tutorial. You can add Niagara particle if you want, but this will be material. So I'll just take a shape planar. Then I will scale and fit it accordingly. Now it's fitting the gate. Cool. Now I'll just make a material for this. So M portal gate. And I will make an instance of this. And this instance I will apply on a planar. Okay. So let me open this. First thing this should be transparent and only have edges. So let's say this is translucent only to side it. In emissive you have a color. Uh, I'll call it just color. And then you have a separate parameter for opacity. Okay. And this is burn and color maybe blue. So if I just save it. And see how these can be changed in the instance so I'll just show you quickly so now you can see this is full opaque but with the parameter inside the instance material we can decrease the opacity like this much and we can make this any color like this okay so we have this let me press G now I want this this much of uh, transparent but I want edges to be more bright so what I'll do, take the depth fade, invert this because depth fade basically fade things. So basically this planar will fade when it's intersecting with other meshes. But if you invert this, it will not fade. It will give you that uh, uh, alpha. And it has this uh, fade distance. So I will make a parameter how much I want to calculate. Let's say it's 20 for now. And then I will just add this on the opacity so this will remain one because opacity is not multiply here i am adding this thing over that so now you can see so with this parameter i can increase it or decrease it cool okay. and this is opacity i can make it totally like this and if you also want to make that more bright, you can you can multiply same color what you are using with this and then add this back to the original. Okay. So after multiplying it, I have a I need to uh, add a parameter here. So this is edge boost or whatever you want to call it default value let's say 2 and i'll just save it again so now with this you can increase the brightness of this maybe this much and we have this parameter and then we can increase or decrease opacity now you want to add some pattern here so it's very simple just find a good texture you have i i have this texture which has triangles you can use th this kind of texture so let's say if i use this and if i show you one of channels from this it's all black and white like this or you can use any channel that you have so let's say i use green channel okay so basically you can just add this on the opacity so I will just multiply this first. Let's say this, these are my tries. You can call it anything. And then add it to the opacity. This multiplier will decide how much you want to add this. Full or less. Like C. So basically now if I open the instancer which is here. So I can decide how much I want this. I want this much or this much. Cool. 
you can make parameter for the tiling and all things like if i take texture coordinate tile that's it now of course you can change tiling this much or much it's up to you let's say i use this much okay and if i use any character like how is working with this i'll just move it down and now we can just play with this cool so this is very simple i will not do anything much here although you can animate and lots of things you can do so i hope you like this thanks for watching keep learning bye bye